The brain is the most important organ in the body. The brain actually is the central processing unit of the human being. It controls everything from what you're feeling, your emotions, to how your digestive tract is functioning. Therefore, I think it is important that we give a bit of attention to the brain because if the brain is working well, the rest of the body will function fantastically. Brain power, what makes brain power? What is the brain? The brain is just a bunch of nerves. Everything that we do, everything that we feel, everything that we experience in life is a nerve transmission from one part of the body to the next part of the body. For example, if I want to pick up this pen, my brain will tell, will instruct a nerve to send a message to my hand and the hand will be able to pick up the pen. If something sad happens and I become depressed, that is also a nerve transmission. Therefore, you, the whole brain is nothing else but billions and billions of nerve cells. Now, like we've mentioned before, nerves and, and, and cells, actually cells, are the basic building blocks of the body. In order for the brain to function well and for the cells to be vibrant and, and, and do their job efficiently, all the minerals and the requirements have to be supplied at the right time in the right amount, flowing at the right concentration. Therefore, um, the brain is very much dependent on what we eat, on the lifestyle that we've been talking about so far. In order for your brain cells to work, oxygen must reach the nerves at the right concentration. Scientists have shown that even the slightest de de deviation in the balance of glucose in the brain can cause it to malfunction. And this is why you will notice that when a person is beginning to get hungry, they become irritable. That irritability is because the brain is not getting enough of the glucose. And glucose is, by the way, is the only fuel that the brain can use. Therefore, if we are not eating the right food, we are not eating uh, appropriately or at the right time and we're going hungry, then the sugar supply to the brain slows down and one becomes irritable and immediately that sugar is replaced, brain function becomes great. So if we learn that in order for us to be happy and progressive, that we need to focus on protecting and preserving brain function, then we will begin to understand why it is so important for us to keep the eight laws of health. Many of us concentrate on the, on the rest of the body. We never really think about the brain and, what it, and supplying it with what it needs and ensuring that we preserve it. And we worry about um, the rest of our organs, our kidneys. We worry about our eyes and we worry about our stomachs and completely forget about that main function, um, main organ that we need in order for the rest of the organs to work well. Now, I will just mention a few things that depress brain function and what happens when brain function is depressed. First of all, when brain function is depressed, you can understand already that the rest of the organs are not able to work well. But also that the main function of the brain, especially the frontal lobe, is the executive functions of living, decision making, memory, um, judgment, um, and we live day by day because we are constantly making decisions. We are constantly processing information. Information comes in through the five senses, the sight, the hearing, the nose, the touch. And um, when that information comes in, the frontal lobe processes it and makes a decision based on what has come in and based on what is already in there, inbuilt in there, and makes a decision. And therefore, as we wake up every morning and we get through the day, that is all about decision making. It's about being able to think appropriately, 
being able to analyze appropriately and coming to the right conclusion, making the right decision. And then when the decision has been made, to be able to actually have the willpower to go through with the decision that has been made. This is how we live life. And therefore, if the brain is not working appropriately because we are not supplying it with the things that it needs, we are not eating well, we are not drinking enough water, we are consuming toxins in the, in the diet that actually destroy nerve cells, you can bet that your decision making will be affected. And you know as, I, as well as I do that if you make the wrong decision, you live to regret it. And therefore, be aware of your brain, protect your brain, and en to ensure that you live a happy, progressive life. Mm -hmm.